Hello folks, so today on Taste Buds, I have some cauliflower in my kitchen and I'm gonna do a, one of my experimental dishes. Yes, I have these ingredients. I have some ranch seasoning and this is the seasoning that you use on um, popcorn. When you're making popcorn at home, you can sprinkle the ranch seasoning on it and I have some of that. And I also have some smoked paprika, garlic and chili and chives. And that's a seasoning blend from the Spice Gourmet. I also have some roasted bell pepper and garlic. That's another seasoning blend. And here I have some coconut lime seasoning blend. Now, these are all natural seasonings and I'm going to be using that along with some garlic powder and also some rotisserie chicken seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm using that as well from Badia. And I'm also using some paprika. And you know where I'm going with all of this, right? I'm going to blend all of this with some coconut flour to make sort of like a crust for my cauliflower. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So pretty much you want to add the, right, the coconut flour, some paprika. And I also forgot to mention that I have some complete seasoning that I'm going to add as well. Now, what you're going to do is maybe three or two tablespoons of coconut flour and maybe half of a teaspoon of paprika and half of a teaspoon of complete seasoning. Maybe one tablespoon of the uh, coconut lime se um, seasoning blend and half teaspoon of everything else you want to put those ingredients in a container and you're gonna pretty much you know um blend those together you know mix them in properly don't add any water just mix them in properly your your ranch seasoning and everything and you're making a nice like a seasoning blend in order to dredge the cauliflower in it so that's what you're gonna do right right Now you want to get some of your olive oil or any good quality oil of your choice and you want to lightly coat your cauliflower. Now th for this I'm not using a, 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 a watery dredging, I'm using a dry type of um, coating on my, my cauliflower so I'm using the olive oil to help the coating to adhere to the surface of the cauliflower. So you want to use just enough oil to make sure everything gets saturated. Then you're pretty much going to dump your cauliflower into your dry coating or crust mixed. And you just mix. You just incorporate it as much as possible. Yes, yes, that is what you want to do. You want to make sure that all the pieces of cauliflower has been thoroughly um, coated with this seasoning mix. Yeah, me like how it looks so far. It's looking good. Trust me. So, I'm now putting down some parchment paper on my baking sheet. I put olive oil underneath it and I'm putting olive oil on top of it. And I'm going to be layering my cauliflower florets on this to be baked. I'm going to bake them at about 375 degrees or until I believe they are golden brown and thoroughly cooked through. You want to also consider frying them. If you consider doing that, consider using a wet batter as the oil may very well just remove all of this dry uh, crust off the uh, cauliflower florets. So we're going to just be baking our cauliflower until they are soft to the touch or tender to the touch, but a little bit crispy on the outside. You don't want them to burn that's what we're we're aiming for and if you notice the color is changing a little bit that's great and guess what guys i just went into my fridge and found out that i have these little bit of cabbage um that was just lying around in the fridge and so guess what i'm gonna dredge them as well and cross them as well and bake them as well yes when you're experimenting you have to experiment 100 percent so i'm just spraying a little bit of olive oil on my cabbage and mega put them into the dredge yes that's it i'm just putting the dredging or the coating on the two sides that i've cut 
and i'm gonna just make sure that it is as much incorporated as possible yeah just make sure you get as much of the crust on the, you know or the coating on the the, the cabbage as, as much as possible and i'm gonna just dump them onto the baking tray with my cauliflower to make sure that they bake too I don't know where this is going guys but it is one of those ways in which you try to experiment with your food you don't want the same boring food like normal so I'm gonna put them in my oven and I'm putting them in the oven and this is what I'm gonna be having with it sweet potato and regular potato salad oh those are little florets that were left over but salad yes here i have some jalapeno peppers that i'm just gonna cut into strips or julienne and then i'm gonna quickly dice these and add them to my potato salad or mashed potatoes yes it's mashed potatoes not potato salad so i'm just gonna dice these right quick add them to my mashed potatoes I'm also making a quick spring salad to go with my dinner today and I'm using baby spinach that I'm gonna be also adding to my bowl with some radicchio and spring mix all different type of lettuce and something something I don't know the full hundred name of every single one of them but all me know is that they are nice arugula radicchio baby lettuce iceberg lettuce different type of lettuce you can use whatever you so choose to use in your neck of the woods i'm just adding all of this as it came as a spring mix and to this i'm also gonna be adding some uh, cucumber or cucumbers um these are the seedless cucumbers that i've been adding to the to, to the the mix right quick and then I want to top it off with some grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes in which one you want to call them grape or cherry you use any which one where you want to use and that's just a quick way to add some vibrancy and color to the dish and make the dish also be 100% plant-based yes I like it I like put more cucumber mm -hmm. and there you have it guys my herb crusted cauliflower and cabbage wedge with sweet and irish <laughs> or regular potato salad uh jalapeno added and my spring mix with dried raisins and cranberries and nuts added and that's just my way of experimenting with meatless dishes, plant-based dishes. As I said often, I don't like to cook the normal thing too much and don't want it to always be the same boring thing. We want to try new things. Here I mixed a little bit of tomato ketchup with some chili garlic sauce. And I'm just drenching, you know, over my... my um, cauliflower and my cabbage as you can see this dish is not a, a gravy rich dish but you want to make sure add some type of you know liquid to the the thing to make it come up palatable and nice the the potato sweet potato with the jalapeno peppers is to die for i totally hope you guys enjoyed this video and will try this in your neck of the woods so that's it guys, remember to like, share, subscribe and comment and remember to ring that little bell icon for notifications. Yes, you've been watching Taste Buds and remember, Yadabelli TV said it all the time, turn your hand and make fashion.